Hey, welcome to another edition of My Business Navigator. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the mobile responsiveness of Groove Pages and how to use it. All that more as soon as we go through the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of My Business Navigator. Antonio again at your service. Do me a favor, before I start diving into the, all the technical, great techno babble, this and that and every other blah, 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 <laughs> do me a favor. Uh, hit that subscribe button there with the notification bell right behind that. The reason why I say this is because I want to make sure that you get notified when I put out another great video content for your viewing pleasure my pleasure it is and because it is such a pleasure for me and hopefully you're getting all some value out of it would you mind giving me a thumbs up down below just and also of course if by chance you get any amount of great value out of this and you think you know some people that also could go ahead and share it on facebook twitter instagram myspace whatever it is, is myspace even around anyway uh but yeah go ahead and share it with whomever tag them uh, I would, uh, hopefully they would be able to save themselves some time and headache because there's some changes that have been happening. And of course, whenever we talk about designing web pages, today's age, we have to talk about designing pages for mobile devices. I got mine right here. Matter of fact, you know how they always say before you start something, make sure that your phone is on silent, silence your phones. Uh, now, with that said, though, I, I do hold this up in all seriousness because a lot of times we'll be looking through, scrolling through on Facebook, scrolling through on Instagram. How many times do we go to a web page on our mobile devices or even tablets and they're not designed properly? They just do not look good. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of the a lot of pages just don't look good. And sometimes it's not the designer's fault. Sometimes they are constrained by the product that they're working with by the page builder that they're working with i do know a couple funnel builders that do make it difficult but i'm going to come over here to this page and this has not been mobile optimized optimized at all as you can see it, it doesn't really look all that good i would you know things need to be swapped around and granted it is just a placeholder something i've been playing around with and actually with all that said Excuse me, I want to take, uh, make sure I'm on my active campaign component. I want to delete that one out. The reason why I say that is I was playing with that earlier, uh, just as something to say, do. All right, so we'll leave it at that. Leave the footer down there, down at the bottom. All right, so this page looks pretty decent, not too shabby, right? But when we start looking at the others, eh all right i could still work with it i don't like the letter spacing there on uh how this is ultimate big space niche i want to shrink that down bring niche over here but you see how real quick we can get ourselves into trouble by looking at the various sizes and now this is not setting up too well we have each one of these are not centered um uh, so there's a lot going on that we can update. Uh-oh, look, see, ultimate starting to get hidden because we have uh, the our, our header is not collapsed. So as you, and here, ultimate's not even shown. It's just domination for the most successful business owners. Okay, but it's really ultimate niche domination. <laughs> Sorry, just having a little bit of fun. Hope you guys are sticking with me. So you see, up top here how easy it is to go from one to the other now the other thing that i want to add is as we're transferring from one to the other notice how quickly and responsive it is okay other funnel builder page builders that i've been with you go from one they actually only have two uh the one the previous one that i'm familiar with only has two they go from one to the other and it's kind of like a reload section it's not nearly this quick and when we're talking about being able to load pages for customers Quickness is key. I just heard a stat the other day that you lose somewhere of like 10 to 15% of your clients for every second it takes for your page to load. And you can see how quickly and responsive this is. Granted, it's not per se that we're actually loading it in the real world, but 
if it's loading it that quickly within the editor where you're making most of your stuff happen odds are in the real world world loading it on a phone or something like that would be pretty darn fast so how do we do this i mean right now if i if i click on if i just go down here to niche and i try to uh well actually let's take a look at the you can see text sizing so if i do the size and i go to text my text size is not shown properly <laughs> this this is one thing that i do do not like about groove pages is the fact that it does when you first have a text out here when you first start editing the default on the text is nine pixels i can guarantee you this is not nine pixels this is something probably more like 40. but to show you what nine pixels is do you see where that cursor is right there that's how big nine pixels are um or is or would be so if I go to 36, 56, that's looking a bit more like it. What's the next jump up? 72. And if I just type a capital U, it, there you go, 72 pixels. So it's at the highest. This isn't that that's number two thing that I don't like about groove pages is the fact that you do not have control over specific pixel size you're locked into the preset pre-program now mind you with that said groove pages is still in beta they have not officially taken it out of beta to work in the full public domain and realm which is great for us if you're still on time because you can get group pages for one price and well just check out the video above here i'll reference it uh with that said so that's at 72 if i go to over here where i really don't like where that's at domination see the domination it no that's just not cool so let's highlight those go into our text well i have to highlight again i guess go into our text and let's say just bring it down to 20 well 20 is way too small let's bring it 26 how about 32 what's our next one how about 40 40 pretty good fitting out 56 i don't like that 40 would work for me but of course we'd need to decrease these as well or break let's find some way to break this up now problem is when we go back to the full screen you see this oh my goodness and it just changed it across every single screen no that is not what i want okay actually it almost looks like here didn't even didn't do it but um, right there it is 40 so when we come back to this let's actually just bring this back to 72 um how about all of the text that is one thing that i do like about it is the fact that you can do one piece of text at one size another piece of text another size not a blanket size for the entire text string so that is nice now how we achieve see here that's not too shabby but definitely here on this one we need to decrease that so what we need to do to achieve it is you need to click on that again now do you see how it went from all pink up all pink across the top all pink is meaning that everything is active all right now when you click again and it's nothing else is highlighted that means that we're only working with this one and then when i click again that means that i'm going to be working with this tablet size large tablet size on down to mobile size will all be affected and then the only way to get to to activate all of the screen sizes again is to go up to the large desktop screen size click on that so now we have the entire lot highlighted so demoing we'll go back down to this screen size we'll highlight the this text and we'll come down to we said 40 kind of what i liked so with that 40 now we can go and let's do hmm du that didn't quite duplicate it did it all right so now i want to grab why is it not grabbing and I want to bring all right I am dragging learn how to 
So, eh. Not sure why that's not working. One of those bugs. Okay, there we go. So if you saw what I had to do, because the element itself is so small, I clicked on the portion of this circle that is inside. And I have the divider, right? There we go. Perfect. Now we'll click on the divider again because I do want to change the color back to white. And see background. I don't know if it's going to be in here. That's the entire background. I don't want the background. What is the coloring? Shouldn't be a text, I don't think, because we're not dealing with text. That is kind of weird that it did not show just the dash two pixels color. There we go. Update. And I don't want a dash line. I want a solid line. Update again. There we go. Now with this one, I'm going to increase the pixel width. Update. Dash. No. Solid. Yes. All right. And see if I can get. Oh, just undo that. All right. So anyway, now if I go to these other screens, you see now I have that extra bar right there, but it's also pushed a lot of things up. So, and you can't see. So now what I want to do is I want to click for both of these two. I don't like how I can't see, but I'm going to come here, select that text. Let's see. All right, good. It allows that text to still be there and I want to increase our height or margin width so it's right there and actually that size at 40 is perfect on this uh, tablet size I will take it down here to probably 26 perfect hmm with this guy and just find that weird that it's not allowing me to even select this divider anymore. But hit the save button every now and again to make sure that the items that you do get, especially when you start running into an error, like an error like this, when you find something that works, make sure that you uh, select save and you get that green dot down there. So now if I come here, my auto domination my ultimate domination is not exactly where I want it so I'm going to scroll down select my top margin ultimate niche domination now my navigation bar let's see if I can configure this to external links okay that's I don't want those choose Okay, pages to exclude. No, I don't want to exclude pages. Okay, so let's see. Do I have... No, it's not allowing me to... I wanted to see, and I didn't apologize for not playing with this earlier beforehand. I wanted to see if I could hide some of these. There we go. I wanted to hide that. So now I can come back to my text and actually bring my text back up spacing wise I think I had it to six works good I can still see this and what I want to do is move there we go something like that have my picture front and center and then underneath ultimate niche domination shadow see what a uh, extra large shadow would do now you, this is something else if I am selecting my text and I select for extra shadow I should be able to just have shadow behind my text I don't know maybe that's just me uh, but I would suggest that and actually maybe I'll put in a request for that to be able to have that so if I were to save this and and then come back here to the original Oh, now you notice. Okay, okay. See how it broke? 
Okay, so I refreshed the page and got got my my background back, and uh, so basically I can come over here and just click and bring this guy over. Now, for some reason, if I were to go to text, we see that this is at forty. So you notice here that I that I actually what I want to do is uh, we'll just save this. Before I go any further, I'm going to exit out, uh, exit, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to do a test. And, you know, it's good to actually do test live. So this way you see how things actually operate and work and we're not hiding a bunch of foobar stuff on you. Uh, but again, mind you, I will say is that this program still is in beta and they are avidly working to take care of a lot of this stuff. So we add that in there. I do not like having the the shadow the way that it is so we're going to get rid of the shadow and that's going to happen all across so on this guy I want to bring as I just did my text will bring my text back to 40 here um, seem 40 and 40 there as well so Again, this is that's how it's supposed to work, but unfortunately, you know, obviously there's bugs in everything. So there's bugs in it right. There's bugs in this particular product for that request uh, right there for some odd reason. I'm not sure why. I know that I was testing them earlier and it did work. Actually, I know that I showed you guys that earlier and it actually worked. So we will you know i'll just change the text here to uh blue and actually let me now i changed it to blue all the way across so now i'm going to come back and i did this exact test actually with the earlier and we're going to take away the color well we'll make it white how about black there we go so now if i come to the other pages see now this allows me to change it from black to blue so obviously it's a bug that that I triggered to make this happen where it will not just take 40 pixels on this one particular page but that once they fix this bug that will be how how it works and wow that's awful big for there how about 40 how about 56 uh, 56 is all right and we'll go back to this guy and see how that should just only be affecting the one but i know that it's not so obviously there's um, i triggered a bug in it during during the during the uh <laughs> presentation here i triggered a bug but trust me this is going to be working just fine hopefully even by the time of this video going published going live you'll be able to see how i did how this actually works properly <laughs> all right guys anyway this is antonio from my business navigator uh please remember to always no matter what outside of just uh, uh subscribing to my link and i'm trying to get there we go I, I, obviously in, instead of you know obviously other besides just subscribing to my channel ringing that notification bell give me a thumbs up if anything else it, it was coming kind, of, kind of entertaining and comical how it worked up to a point and then I moved some stuff around and just completely broke the damn thing. Um, but anyway, you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.